Good morning guys and welcome back. So today I've got a very simple insole on the Jeep, but it's one of those insoles that is super ben beneficial for pretty much every single four-wheel driver. It's something that every four-wheel driver should have on their vehicle, especially if you're going four-wheel driving. More than likely you are going to get stuck and having rated recovery points is an absolute must. I've never had one on the Jeep before until I got stuck a couple weeks ago as you guys saw up the beach. If you guys missed that, I'll leave a link just up here so you guys can check that out. But um, I was recovering my brother-in-law and then also later on the day they had he had to recover me as well and We didn't actually have we've got the like the factory little uh, Tow hook thing on the Jeep there, but it's not Ideal and it's not really I don't think it's 100% rated that it doesn't actually have a rating on it And it's a bit difficult to attach like a bow shackle or something to it. So we've got the tow bar on the Jeep um, with tow hook, but we've never actually had like a proper uh, rated recovery point um, on the Jeep. So after that day we managed to get ourselves out, we had to recover each other, but it wasn't the safest or the most ideal situation to be in. One, we were we're not experienced um, in recoveries because we've never actually done one uh, before, which it was a good learning curve for us, but we also didn't have the right recovery gear on us as well. So we've had, we, we had a snatch trap, which was fine, we managed to loop it over something, but it just wasn't safe. So having actual rated recovery points on your Jeep or four-wheel drive it's an absolute must. So today we'll be installing the Mean Mother 4.7 ton recovery hitch with bow shackle onto our Jeep. It's a really simple install, it just replaces the factory um, tow bar on the car, well tow ball point. Um, and we actually got this from Anaconda, they had a Black Friday sale. Now originally uh, about $50 from Anaconda or you can get from the Mean Mother website if you guys want to get them from the Mean Mother website if you don't have an Anaconda store. Um, in your area, I've got a 10% discount for you guys. Just use the code LMBL4x4. Four four. I'll leave it down in the description below if you guys want to use that 10% discount. But the Anaconda sale was actually, I think it was almost 40% off. So we got it for $35 from Anaconda. So it was a massive saving. It was cheaper buying it through them rather than getting it through the Mean Mother website. But those sales don't really last too long. So what we've got is the, so the Mean Mother Recovery Hitch designed to use with Class 4 tow bars. I don't actually know if we've got a Class 4 tow bar or not, but it fits in well and it's a normal size tow bar, so I'm assuming yes. Um, it is 50mm by 50mm, 2 inch by 2 inch, so pretty much a square tow bar. Um, it's the Mean Mother Recovery Hitch and Shackle, with a 4.7 ton recovery um, shackle, which is great, a lot of them don't provide them. Um, this is mainly used for recovery or strap recovery um, and you always never exceed the full capacity of the bow shackle. Um, now this is ideal for a straight pull, so if your slides just make sure you're doing it safely, but it is ideal for like a straight on recovery, whether you're just pulling someone out or they're pulling you out, whatever it might be. So pretty easy to install. On our tow board we actually had to buy this pin separately because we didn't actually have one um, and we had this lying around at home which I've never actually had on the Jeep before so just take your old one out grab your new me mother slide her in should just line up with those holes there I have seen a few people online actually selling other brands not the me mother one just because your tow hitch wasn't the same size as the actual recovery point itself. So before you go buying anything, just measure up uh, your tow hitch. Make sure it's the same size as that. It will save you guys a lot of hassle in the future. So make sure that's all lined up. Grab your recovery, your pin. Slide it through. And we're done. And you got a nice anchor point for toe straps um, and we almost oh, might also be using this with like maybe a soft shackle um, because that's obviously going to be stronger but a soft shackle is going to be a lot safer if you are in a recovery position um, if this breaks uh, for whatever reason um, it's going to cause a lot of damage where a soft shackle is going to break first but it's going to be a lot softer if that something hits you in the head rather than have a soft shackle hit your head rather than um, a bow shackle, but really easy install and it gives you a perfect little toe point, something to hitch on, maybe put a recovery strap through there. Um, but that's pretty much it, really easy, straightforward, um, but it's a great recovery for point for the back of your Jeep forward drive. You might notice this is yellow, which a lot of Mean Mother stuff come in, doesn't look bad, but we do have red recovery points on our Jeep. Now I might leave the Mean Mother one yellow, because um, I don't I don't mind the yellow, uh, but we do have a Hercules one that we are painting it red. 
um, kind of matching with all the rear cap feed points um, and they're really easy to take off as well if you don't want to run the shackle all the time because it kind of bounces around what you can do is take it off take it off and you just leave it with like the little black nub that sticks out that way you don't have it rocking around and it doesn't stick out for people to steal um, and then when you do need to do your recovery just loop it through um, hook your strap on anything like that and you're good to go alright so that's it for today guys if you like this video hit that uh, like and subscribe button if you haven't already really help us out just let YouTube know that you guys like this content you want to see more and if you guys like the name change if you guys even noticed the name change we've changed it to what and son's garage um i think it flows a lot better with what we actually do here living my best life i'm still living my best life but it didn't flow with what we're doing in here what we want to achieve with the car and with family as well um short backstory is that my dad actually and his dad my granddad um, and my uncles actually own a motorbike shop in new zealand in hamilton um, in frankton uh, called white and sons uh, frankton motorcycles so I've kind of adopted that name, it's more personal, it's more in something more than me rather than just like some weird uh, Instagram or YouTube name that I picked out of nowhere. Uh, Cheap Jeep, it didn't really fit well either. So I think this is going to be a nice change um, and it's a bit more personal, something that I can really get behind and put a lot more passion into rather than just being just something. So if you guys do like the name change, let me know in the comments. If you don't, yeah, well, that's the name of it now. So if you guys like this video, as I said, hit that like and subscribe button. If you like this product, if you like the Mean Mother Recovery Hitch and you want one for your for drive, I'll leave a little link in the description below. I'll also leave um, the code for the 10% off deal if you guys want to buy it from the Mean Mother website. Other places do sell it, but if you want to save yourself 10%, use that code LMBL 4x4. I'll leave that down in the description below if you guys want to check that out. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome week. I'll see you guys next week.